Yes, yes. Oh, actually, that's a very good introduction. Um, I did actually bring up the frequency of which devil fights for for another reason, because it has become quite relevant to devil's facial tumor disease that's come about. That is a contagious cancer. There are only two contagious cancers in the world, but unlike the one in dogs, the one in devils is fatal. They believe the original source of the disease was probably a female devil in the northeastern part of Tasmania. During the early 90s, this female would have got cancer. Now that is very normal. <laughs> Except that the cancer mutated. It went through the entire body. If you cut out a tumour, there are many more somewhere else. It also means when <laughs> the immune system doesn't attack it. So the cancer does not wherever the devil is. And they tend to bite each other around the face and throat more often than not. Four to seven months later, devils will generally die of either starvation or suffocation just because the size of the tumours. It's a human dug out, dug out well before the cancer ever existed. Making a barrier wasn't its purpose. But it's been working in the devil's favour. We basically use the peninsula now like the combat. Except we used to keep the bad ones in instead of out. But it's still not a perfect area for them. They're still a threat. Cars, mainly. Wild devils generally such as a knife when you see what it's kind of like the um stuff flashing um and hitting. So this is to get scare everything away from the road before the car even arrives and has been shown to reduce up to eight percent of road kills. If there's less road kills, there's less devils than our road kills themselves. If anyone would like to help us out with this, this ten hour kilometre, you can uh, a nine hour bus stop from hundred and sixty dollars. If anyone would like to come to one, it's part of one that can for a reception, but no pressure. Hopefully though, our uh, isolated devil population will be very useful. See, there is a vaccine for the devil facing tumor disease.